Peggy 18. There's a lot of things that make Lord of the Rings stand above all other fantasy. One of the really strong ones is the notion of fellowship. And it means that a group of disparate people, different races, different skills, realizing that they have to work together. You have the central character of Frodo, who has to do this impossible task. And he surrounds himself with facets of his personality that he doesn't quite have that make him more of a accomplished kind of person. The Fellowship is sort of the central piece of the movie, and without that, there's sort of, there's nothing, there's no movie, there's no quest. Fellowship is like friendship on steroids. All these people that you, you never thought would have been acquaintances, let alone friends, put aside their differences for a greater cause. What's unique about the War of the North is that it allows you to push into an area of the world that you haven't been into and with characters that you don't necessarily know. Allow me to introduce my companions, Eridan of the Dunedain and Farin of Erebor. The fellowship that we're following is Andriel. She's a master of elven magic. And then there's Eridan, who is a ranger. And finally, we have Farin. Farin the dwarf, uh, he's from Erebor, the Lonely Mountain. And he's very much a grizzled veteran. He's seen a lot of battles. He definitely knows what he's doing, too. He's, he's killed tons of orcs, and he's willing to kill some more. He kind of enjoys it. I'm like the guy that just wants to carry a big hammer and hit things with it. So, uh, of course, I would play the dwarf. So you're telling me Brian Pulsane, he picked the dwarf when he was in here? He looks like a giant dwarf. That makes sense to me. Oh, I was drawn to the female elf lore master first, mainly because she's the chick. And I feel like uh, you don't always get the option to play as a girl. She's basically a secret agent, and she is a great fighter. She's, you know, a few centuries old, so she definitely knows her way around. You have, you know, your Dunedain ranger like Aragorn, so that's cool. He's been sent on a mission from Aragorn to accompany the other members of the Fellowship. He's able to see footprints because obviously he's he's a ranger and if you follow those footprints it will lead you to something whether that be treasure or you know a bad guy or a secret door i feel like the human ranger has a really diverse set of skills and access to a diverse range of weapons you can also play as different characters you can go back in and i was an elf last time i feel like being a human this time <laughs> Initially, they're sent on a mission by Aragorn, but as they uh, head north, they start to piece together more elements of the story and discover a much greater threat. Agendau's the is a um, lieutenant of Sauron, and he's been entrusted as Sauron's right hand in the north. So his mission is to gather armies in the north and unite them in an army and bring them down to crush Minas Tirith from, from the north. Now, return at once and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. I think if you don't play this game multiplayer, you're kind of missing out on what makes Lord of the Rings Lord of the Rings. It's about going on a quest with other people. The cooperative game is incredibly important. You want to play with your friends. The idea of like saving my friend from a battle like sounds very noble. Take refuge here. Like when your friend is surrounded by seven orcs and he's like, come on, dude, help me out here. And you run and then you start like killing and he's like, thanks. Like that feeling is a feeling I probably will never have in my life as a real human being. So to have that through the video game is wonderful. You can play either split screen or online. Um, so if you want to play with a friend on the couch or if you want to play with a friend who's in another state, you can do that. And you can mix and match those. So you could have two of you on the couch and someone else playing online. And you have this feeling of your platoon, your group, your fellowship. And whenever you play online, you're actually taking your character into that other person's game. And the experience and the loot that you gain in that other person's game, you keep that and you retain that and you bring that back to your own game as well. It's just really trying to create something that is immersive, that people want to play again and again. 
Lord of the Rings War of the North is a game that uh, if you're into Lord of the Rings, this uh, game is going to take up several months of your life and having your wife go, are you playing that again? And you going, no, I'm emailing people. I'm getting work done.